Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have, well, Electronic Arts doing a cool thing again. It always feels weird when I'm talking about Electronic Arts being the good guy, but hey, they did something kind of neat here. And what they just did is they've just released the source code to a ton of old school games, specifically in the Command and Conquer series. Now, Command and Conquer, uh, the most recent, recent release was Command and Conquer Remastered back in 2020. Now, they actually released source code to this one uh, back around the same time, but this is a new set of source code. They also did some updates uh, where they now added Steam support to some of these games as well. So we're going to go through that. We're also going to look at some of the other games that have been open sourced over time. So if you want to check out some source code for commercial games, you can do so. Now do keep in mind, this is source code for the um, the game itself, not the engine. So this is going to enable you to create DLLs that you can plug into the existing engine, but you're going to need uh, the Command & Conquer game and its assets if you want to go ahead and run that. And EA knows that because right now they're also running a Command & Conquer franchise sale. So if you you want to pick it up uh, for example uh, the command and conquer remastered version is available on sale right now and then we got a number of other different versions of command and conquer and some of these actually have new features and functionality uh, that are part of this release so we've got over here this is from pc gamer an announcement on this particular release um, so EA announced that it is releasing the source code for a bunch of old Command & Conquer games. Uh, here's the bit where I am as a man who enjoyed modding but a bit lazy, get excited. Adding Steam Workshop support to a few more. So, games getting a source code release are Command & Conquer, Tiberian Dawn, Red Alert, Command & Conquer Renegade, Command & Conquer Generals, and Zero Hour. Uh, they're being released under the GPL license, meaning folks can mix and match and redistribute them to their heart's content without EA lawyers smashing down the door. By the way, I do know that there are definitely some other catches to the GPL license. If you make any changes to it that you redistribute, you have to make your changes public, that kind of stuff. And then as for the Steam Workshop support, uh, what's getting switched on for Command & Conquer Renegade, Generals, and Zero Hour, uh, S S Command & Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars, and Kane's Wrath, and Command & Conquer 4 Tiberium Twilight, uh, it, that, well, I guess they're all getting Steam Workshop support added as well. Uh, they've gone and updated all the Mission Editor and World Builder tools so you can publish maps directly to the Steam Workshop. Uh, plus, it is putting out a modding support pack that contains the source XML, schema, script, shader, and map files for all the games that use the Sage engine. I lack the useful skills to know uh, what that really means for the modding scene, but I look forward to reaping the benefits down the line. So, you're getting all of the source code available out there, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then on top of that, it is all available online. So you can check here on the GitHub repository for Electronic Arts. You're going to see they have now added CNC Remastered Collection, CNC General, Zero Hour, Renegade, Red Alert, Tiberian Dawn, uh, modding support, and so on. They've actually got a ton of repositories. So you're actually going to find there are some very um, interesting repositories that EA put out. One of the top being their uh, STL libraries, uh, being one of the most commonly used uh, STL libraries in the world of games, for example, EA STL. But the new ones we've got here, obviously, are these repositories for CNC General, Zero Hour, Renegade, Red Alert, Tiberian Dawn uh, are all being added here. So if you want to go ahead and check one of those out here, for example, is the CNC Remastered Collection. And in terms of license, again, GPL. Uh, these enable you to create the key DLLs for the games. Uh, so EA uh, released only Tiberian Dawn DLL, Red Alert DLL, and Command & Conquer Map Editor and their corresponding source code under the GPL v3 below, and additional terms at the bottom. So you can see the source code is all here. Uh, so you've got scripts in here. Uh, okay, single pilot, pi Python script, and I think everything else is here. So you can see this is old school source code, you know, back when we had a 13 and 3, no, was it 8 and 3? Uh, file name extension, yeah, 8 characters followed by 3 characters. So you're going to see a lot of these file names are going to be very uh, concise in nature. Again, you can see the majority of the code is C++ based. Now, one of the things I got pointed out, this is actually pointed out to me by uh, a fellow on the Game From Scratch Discord server, which by the way is a lovely place and you should check it out. The link is available down below. This one, the Cut Siberian Dawn uh, folder structure is brilliant. So here we go. This is CNC Tiberian Dawn's folders. Uh, so here we are in the root. <laughs> That's it. All of the source code here, everything you see, yep. It's uh, it's all in one directory. Well, technically two. There is a tools directory as well. Uh, and I don't know if there's, no, no folders in tools. So literally one giant folder dump of the source code. So yeah, 
That's the way we used to do things. Now, interestingly enough, if you want to compile this one, you're going to have a challenge finding uh, the compile uh, the code for this particular one here. You're going to probably want to stick to the remaster if you're going to try and build things these days because it has, of course, and being updated and is more current. So uh, yeah, all of the source code is available. Now, I did promise at the beginning of the video I would talk about other projects that have been open sourced, other game projects you might want to go ahead and check out the source code for. The first one is this one. So Command & Conquer, a different batch of source code was actually released a while ago. This is a different set of source code though. So you're going to want to use the new version if you're going to go ahead and do that. But we also had just uh, last week, uh, Team Fortress 2 source code was all released as part of the uh, source SDK, which is very cool. Another thing, obviously, we have all the id tech games, things like Doom 3 have been open source under the GPL v3 license as well. Rogue Legacy, uh, one of my favorite roguelike platforming games, its source code was released to celebrate its 10th anniversary. Uh, that one uses C Sharp XNA or, or FNA slash model game. Um, if you want to see how those kind of games are created, so if you're looking for a very successful C Sharp source code to go and check out, that one was released as well. Descent 3 was released back in April of last year as well. Uh, and on top of that, Amnesia, Dark Descent, uh, and a Machine for Pig source codes were both released as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen. Command and Conquer's source code uh, now available. A bunch of them actually are available. Uh, so you'll see here again, CNC General Zero Hour, CNC Renegade, Red Alert, Tiberian Dawn uh, have all been released. And then on top of that, uh, they have updated Steam uh, Workshop support in a number of the titles we're talking about here. So this is going to enable people to do number one is learn how EA does things. And on top of that, you'll also be able to create some pretty extensive total conversions and mods, etc. That um, so I always love seeing these source code releases. You know, you're not going to be able to take the source code and just make your own game from it, uh, but you might be able to make an individual aspect from it or learn something or figure out, say, how they did pathfinding or something to that effect. Or it may just be fun to see how many times they swear in each particular bit of code. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, Command & Conquer, a variety of different source code uh, releases today. Um, a very cool thing, again. It's always a little weird when you... Uh, hear about EA doing cool stuff. And again, there are a number of other projects out there that have released their source code as well. I will have links to all the ones I mentioned here. There are other ones. The first one I remember ever was abuse, um, crack.com. Uh, released Abuse's source code uh, and a couple of others, but companies releasing their full game source code, I think it's always a very cool move. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.